on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial on 3D Artcore uh, channel. So um, today I want to show you how to create your own custom shelf but it's not just a regular custom shelf it's also a shader custom shelf and you probably um, uh, got used to see some of the um, features we have in other applications uh, like Maya, uh, you know that you have some folder with uh, shaders built in, uh, but not like the Blin and Lambert and all those. Um, i just show you what I mean. Uh, window, rendering, editor, and my hyper shade. So basically, if you have a f fresh install of Maya, you will get only work area tab here and here I have my shader uh, group okay so um, this is what we're we going to learn we are going to learn how to add our own custom uh, shelf but first we need to go over Google and just let's close this <coughs> sorry and let's type in um, Maya M I M I A uh, Maya shaders download. Okay, and the only reason I'm typing it like this is because there are plenty of forums and other web to web uh, sites who offer you <coughs> some free materials. So, for instance, you have here HDRI community MII materials and Maya 8.5 which is very old so let's try to look for something else um, I'll go, let's go over here this one okay so you have mentory shaders to download this Maya shaders free registration is required so you see you have plenty of um, <coughs> shaders here <coughs> car glass shader metal metal aluminium and there are probably even more better than these um, just don't remember um, let's just do another search um, let's see my presets no MIA my shaders materials let's type materials materials and okay uh, no no my materials background information HDR creating my materials let's type my shaders for materials materials like that Here, Maya MR materials, or maybe we will find some here. Um, <coughs> so this library is pretty much empty. Um, maybe this one, Creative Crash. Maybe we can find some here. Okay, yeah, here you can find pretty much lots of shaders. You can download and I will uh, just <coughs> give you this link and you can just click here depends on the price right um, you have free materials and probably some under some price but um, these are example of the shaders and probably also for which uh, application they are meant to so um, <clears throat> see like this glass here and you can just come here and download this material like that now you may need to log in okay please log in to continue you see so um, go over creative crash and just open your own I I'm probably have my own um, <coughs> here as far as I remember so 
uh, I may care, yeah, I do have a count here. So I can just download it, you see it's here, uh, Metallic Paint to MA. So what I will do actually, uh, and what you need to do is over, take this material <coughs> and open your own folder, which you may want to name it as shaders, like that, and put this inside. Now, thing is, uh, whenever you creating your own custom uh, folder first, okay, you need to make sure that this folder will be in somewhere, uh, some place that you always will, uh, you know, place it, place it there, uh, like always uh, keep there the, this folder there. Okay, so. <coughs> So just for um, showing you how it works, you go over Window Render Editing, Render Rendering Editor, and Hypershade. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> and then you come over here, over Create. Um, no, Create New Tab here. Okay, so Create New Tab, tab. and what you want to do is uh, here choose disk and work area okay uh, no you may want to choose work area um, no we want this on disk yeah disk so root directory it's where you navigate to this custom folder which right now is in my uh, desktop so desktop shaders and click open also you may want to tick this if there are any other extra folders for individual uh, shaders so make sure it's ticked uh, give it a name so you can recognize this tab like um, shader for Maya okay make sure you don't do any spaces as I recall uh, you're not allowed to uh, use spaces and click apply okay so now I have this on my here over here but this is where this is not where I want it so I will try to undo that if I can let's play let's place this just uh, the bottom yeah at the bottom you see you need to make sure it's at the bottom and shaders for my uh, two okay and then it will create it over here so um, let's close <coughs> And this is pretty much it. Now if we <coughs> go over here to uh, how it was, you know, materials, um, what you need to do is only create your whatever you want, polygon, and right click on this one. No, sorry, you need to middle mouse drag this over here, like that, okay? And then you will have three of them, okay? But we only need this, the blend two, okay, and yeah, the blend two, and then you will. These are like the nodes for it. They, this is how it works. So you can see that um, automatically um, this shader building some other extra features, which I don't really um, familiar with what what they are doing. But just for this example. Um, Put, you catch this um, <clears throat> this sphere, assign it to, and let's try to create a ren to make a render for it. Mental ray features of quality probably. Let's switch it to two, and let's take a quick render just to see this. Okay. And like that. <coughs> yeah, so it works. You see it works. You can see this uh, shader, how it applied to this sphere. And you may want to add some more extra light so you see things better. So let's just create spotlight. And maybe bring it over here. But this spotlight is not uh, really... Um, supporting mental ray you need to apply some Maya physical 
um, my physical light in order to make it uh, as mental ray uh, light but it's also good like this just for the example um, let's try maybe adding this my physical <coughs> light trader mental ray lights physical light and now let's see what it give us uh, a little bit more light maybe some plane will give us some contrast for it so um, okay so this is how it goes so basically it was on how to create but the this shelf here and you may want to get rid of this shelf so uh, tab uh, current tab uh, okay I need to find a way how to get rid of this tab but um, just make sure you didn't you don't do this mistake um, delete uh, maybe here edit expand Okay. Options. Window. Tabs. Remove tab. Yeah, but which one? I want. Yeah, yes, this one. Because this one is ticked last, so this one will be deleted. And this one will remain here forever until you wanted to uh, be erased from here so basically you create your own shader and if you take this tree uh, this option that was there the tree so it show you the main folder and all the other folders that related to it so that way uh, you won't need only to use those materials which Maya provide you you can also use your own custom and they will be accessible from here and that way it makes your life easier and start building your own uh, shader folder and that's it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did click like leave a comment or whatever and we'll see you at the next tutorial um, that's it see you bye